What's up guys, it's Will from CT Bushcraft here and today we're out at the campsite uh, testing a new product that I just got the other day in the mail. I'm actually very excited to be out here testing it. It's the uh, the Zunden Fire Steel from uberlieben.com. Um, now, a little bit of background on the company. Uh, Uberlieben is a bushcraft uh, company founded actually this year in 2016. Um, and I mean their motto kind of says it perfectly their motto is modern bushcraft since 2016 so um, They're obviously a very new startup company and they have products that Are really interesting because they have a traditional Flair to them, you know that that bushcraft primitive nature, but they're you know very functional and uh, and useful so I think it's a really interesting company and uh, since they're so new they only have two products released so far the Zunden uh, Fire Steel is the first one, and the second one is the Durston uh, Cup, which is a wooden cup in a Kuksa style. So um, I've been talking to the company, and they've got uh, more products in the works, um, and there will be more coming out. Like I said, they're very new, um, so they, they're working on testing products and uh, manufacturing them. Um, what's interesting about the company is uh, all their names actually mean something. So, for example, Überleben, which is the name of the company, means uh, to survive or to outlast in German. And Zünden, which is the name of this fire steel, uh, means to ignite uh, or to light. And their wooden cup, um, the Dursten, uh, actually means thirst in German. So it's kind of cool that all these, uh, all of their names for their products and the company itself have. Um, in, you know have meaning behind them so they sent me this product um, this week to test and uh, that's what we're out here to do today and uh, I'm very excited so you know let's get into it and take a closer look at this product alright so when you purchase a Zinden this is actually what you get this is what you'll receive it's two little bags um, and we'll go through the little one first uh, the smaller one um, and show you what's in that so this is something I didn't actually know was included uh, when you bought the the fire steel but it's a uh, it's a nice little bonus. Um, so, what it is is, it's pretty simple, you know. But um, it's a little tinder pack, um, and inside it's got about five pieces of, uh, you know, roughly two-inch uh, sections of jute twine, um, and obviously you can pull. You know, it's lots of lots of little strands you can pull apart and and fray it so that it, you know, it accepts a spark really easily. So five pieces is, you know, is a decent amount for, um, you know, starting fires. And, uh, and then the other thing that they include are three pieces of char cloth. Um, and so this, uh, this tinder pack is actually, you know, it's a nice little thing that they include with it for people who aren't familiar with how to, you know, create char cloth or haven't really used it yet or, um, you know, using a uh, jute twine, and for people who are, I mean, new into bushcraft and new to using a fire steel, it's a great little thing that they include because it, you know it's it really easy to um, get started using these, and it helps uh, someone launch into it. So we'll go ahead later and uh, and test uh, the Zunden. Actually, we'll use these uh, tinder pieces just so that uh, you know we're testing both parts of the pack. Um, and the second thing you get is uh, the Zunden itself in this. In this bigger bag here um, so let's go ahead and take everything out that comes in this bag you get three things in here um, all right so the first thing is just another piece of uh, another piece of jute twine um, so and I guess in total you get six pieces of it um, and now the next thing here that they include is a little card um, and here it says uber Lieben. it's got their logo and underneath it it says uh, modern bushcraft since 2016 and then over on this side it says, thank you. We have some really cool products in the works and we'd love your feedback. Um, for product testing opportunities and special offers, please email and then it's info at uberlieben.co. Obviously let's get into the uh, the main product here, which is the uh, the Zunden Fire Steel itself. Now, just for purposes of clarification, it's it usually comes all black. I, uh, when I got it, I opened it up and threw a few sparks with it, which is why it's silver there. But it's coated in all black, and obviously you scrape the uh, the black off so you get down to the the silver part of the uh, ferro rod. Um, the striking surface on this Zunden is uh, about two and three quarter inches long. Its overall length is about four and three quarters inches long, 
and then the uh, the ferro rod itself is about a quarter inch in diameter so it is a pretty hefty uh, ferro rod and it's mounted really nicely really sturdily into this nice piece of hardwood here and I personally am a fan of having something on the end of uh, your ferro rod you know hold on to and even while you're holding on to this it um it gives you a nice big striking surface um, for you to use and uh, so it's a very very well constructed piece of equipment that was actually one of my first impressions when I first opened it is that it feels really strong in the hand you know really sturdy so then you've got this this cord here that uh, connects the fire steel to the striker the striker says uh, Uberlieben on it and it's got a couple things on it first here it's got a little ruler it's uh, in millimeters up to 50 millimeters or five centimeters um, here it looks like it's got a little thing for uh, scaling maybe potentially a map um, and then here's a, a bottle opener and if you can see closely there it's got angles as, almost as if it's for you know like a uh, a bolt you know you can use it as like a little wrench if you know this one size happens to fit the size of the bolt or whatever that you have so I, I don't know if that's what it's intended for but um, it looks like you could potentially uh, do that and then here on the end you've got a little serrated curved blade here it's not very sharp obviously um, but it is serrated and I believe that is a uh, a rope or cordage cutter of sorts um, so whether you saw through it or you uh, you know put the cordage on a piece of wood put this over it and hammer it through to cut through uh, the cordage I don't, I'm not particularly uh, sure um, how you use that but it's another thing they have on there and then obviously the main intention of the striker is to be a striker and on this side here with the uh, the millimeter ruler you can feel that they've sharpened a little edge there um, for you to be able to scrape the fire steel with so that's what the actual Zunden looks like um, and for the sake of comparison I'll pull out my fire steel here that I um, had previously and have been using up to this point it's a little light my fire um, fire steel um, it's very small um, I obviously added the orange cordage it was just before the striker and the uh, ferro rod were attached with a little piece of black cord um, so I modified it a little bit um, like I said I really like um, when a ferro rod has um, a wood uh, handle on it so uh, that's what I really like about this one and it is very small the striker is nice on this and the ferro rod is nice it's very small though you can see next to the Zunden I mean it doesn't even compare the size is incredible the size difference is incredible um and when it comes to ferro rods size really does matter um you know the amount of sparks you can throw with a bigger one uh, compared to a smaller one is uh there's a large discrepancy between the two so um I'm you know I've try to get used to using a small one because it's you know it's not as easy to start a fire with various tinders but um, I'm really excited to actually finally have a, a larger one because um, you know it, it is much easier to start it and generally real bushcrafting fire steels um, are a little bit larger so uh, we'll get into uh, you know starting an actual little fire with this later um, so I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera, but I'm going to do a little demonstration to show you the difference between the uh, the sparks that these two throw out. So first, I'm going to show you the uh, the light my fire fire steel, and there you go. You can, I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but I mean it's good. It throws you know it throws a decent amount of sparks. It's good for a little rod, a little ferro rod, and I really do like this one. Um, but now I'm going to show you what the Zunden looks like. Um, And I hope this is showing up on camera because actually when you strike this one, you can actually feel the heat of the sparks that are coming off of it. You can, the amount of pyrophoric metal that's scraped off is much larger. You get actually gobs of sparks coming off of it. Um, and you can actually feel the heat versus this one, you know, it's little, it's little sparks. This one is just, just massive sparks. So. I mean, that was actually when I first took this out and first started striking it, it was one of the uh, the first things I noticed with this is just that the amount of sparks you can get off this and the size of the sparks is so much different. So um, I just wanted to pull this out for sake of comparison so you can see them. Um, 
and then now that we've looked at a little bit more of the specifics of the zoomed in why don't we pull some various tinders out including the tinders that they include um and then i guess we'll probably uh, it's a little damp out here today and it's really windy so I don't know how well it'll work but if I can I'll try to show you um, using some uh, some wood shavings how it performs but at the very least we'll do the uh, we'll do the uh, the tinder that they include with it so uh, stick around all right so we're back now and I am first gonna use the uh, the jute twine they include with it now if you can see right here right in the middle of this uh, little piece of wood here is a uh, is the jute twine and it's only half of one of those pieces of jute twine frayed apart pulled apart a lot to make a nice little bird's nest and honestly you don't even need this much you could use half this amount and be fine but for the sake of demonstration i'll use this much so i'm going to put the uh the zoomed in right up against it and and strike it and you just see one strike and it's already burning it uh it's got a nice little flame there it burns slow enough that you could uh you know get some other tinder on top of it but it works real nicely and like you said I said there's even too much there you know it's a little bit too condensed so I'll throw another spark on it and then there it goes it's burning again so it's kind of hard to see in the sun but it is burning um, you know very nicely so the jute twine does work and it, it takes a spark you know real easily it's just I mean one strike really that's just how easily it goes up so uh, so that's that's the jute twine and now we'll try a piece of char cloth and I'm gonna rip one of these in half um, and just use it you know this actually um, you know you just leave it as like that you don't really have to tear up that much if you don't want to you can but char cloth will just take a spark like that and it's hard to see in the sun but there are it's not burning um but you know it's um you it's turned it's turning itself into an ember kind of um so with uh with real fine tinder you know it is burning there and i'm not gonna get down there and blow on it because i'm gonna block the camera but it is really hot to the touch and there's little glowing embers down inside of it because the char cloth is burning just very slowly. So with, uh, you know, with the proper piece of tinder on, on top of it, you would uh, easily be able to get a fire going. So, and like I said, you can also, you know, crumple it up like you do with the jute twine and expose a little bit more surface area. But the problem is with, with char cloth, I mean, you, again, you're going to still create an ember, but with char cloth is it, it really just kind of disintegrates if you, if you, you know, try to break it up too much so um but unlike the jute twine the char cloth doesn't really burn it you know it just creates an ember but with either if you use the jute twine then in conjunction with it or whatnot you'll be able to get a fire going because you obviously have a burning ember there so as you can see now i've made some uh some wood shavings here with a little feather stick and uh i'm gonna see how this performs with uh this kind of tinder and uh, i'm gonna put the ferro rod right down here in this little notch um i made there and like that you can see right 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 like that just like nothing you've got a nice flame down there and it's taken it took that uh it took that spark like crazy I mean it was just a couple a couple strikes and and then I had it going and I got a nice little flame there going with those wood shavings now and uh Yeah, you can see it just like that. You got a nice little fire going, and obviously I'd have uh, lots of tinder and, and kindling and, and whatnot ready to go, but um, because it's so windy out today, I'm gonna just kinda let this thing die out. I'm not gonna make a fire, but for the sake of demonstration, you can see, I mean, try to shade it a little bit for the camera there. I mean, it's still burning. All right, guys, I think that pretty much does it for my review on the Uberlieben Zünden Ferro Rod. Uh, this product is amazing. I am thrilled with it. It performed better than I could have even hoped. I, I didn't really know 
how much of a difference a larger fire steel would make and I don't think I'm ever going to go back to a small one now. I mean this is going to absolutely become a mainstay in my kit. Everything from the ferro rod and the construction of it all the way to the striker. I mean I didn't even have to use a knife or you know the back of a knife to strike this thing. This, this, uh, this striker is very well designed and worked perfectly so I'm thrilled with every single piece of this uh, of this product and we looked at it in depth. We uh, you know, tried it using various different uh, Tinder, and uh, including the ones that they gave, and you can see it performed well with every single one of them. So, I really can't recommend this product enough. I, th I think for fourteen dollars, you're not really going to find a, a much better ferro rod than this. Um, and I really think this is this is what you need, um, you know, for a bushcraft fire steel. So, I hope that uh, I hope you'll be able to review more of their products in the future. Um, and I really encourage you guys to go take a look at some of their products um, and what they have so far. And I'll, like I said, I'll put the link in the description um, so you can get to their website. Uh, but for now, I think that's going to do it for this review. Uh, this is Will from CT Bushcraft. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. Go check us out on Instagram at CT underscore Bushcraft. And uh, until next time, stay safe out there.